In banking, it's taken seven years for evidence to finally come to light, suggesting an HSBC Swiss subsidiary helped thousands of super-rich clients across the world avoid paying hundreds of millions worth of tax. The IT worker who died has been pursued, charged and vilified. It's always right to report wrongdoing. In the financial sector, uh, Nicholas, you were, just to get it right, you blew the whistle on HSBC. It was uh, illegal charges. You, you quite clearly say it was fraud. It's ruined your life, hasn't it? Uh, yes. Um, to, for 12 years I've been trying to expose it. Um, and I, I, I don't know if it's right to whistleblow or not, but if anybody asks my advice for financial crimes, I would say don't do it. The establishment is so corrupt in this country that you will not... I mean, I'm glad to see the NHS whistleblowers and now the, the issues are being addressed in the NHS, but in the financial sector, there's no support. I've been on my own. The, the fraud's been covered up by every single regulator, by the Solicitor's Regulation Authority, the Financial Conduct Authority, the Financial Services Authority, the Ministry of Justice, the Legal Services Board. It's been completely covered up, but it's now thanks to this program and the Treasury Select Committee, Jesse Owen. It's the first time you've really spoken about this, isn't it? Yes. Um, MP Jesse Owen um, challenged the Financial Conduct Authority in, the, in Parliament last Tuesday as to why they'd covered it up. I asked them, I asked the FCA what they'd done about my complaint and they basically asked HSBC what to say to me and they copied and pasted HSBC's response and HSBC lied to the FCA and the FCA just passed that lie on to me. A lot of accusations there, obviously. Let me get to the, the personal. What, um, what was it like for you after you exposed it, when you were trying to expose it, when you were working there, your, the impact on your life? Well, I, uh, as soon as I blew the whistle, I was immediately sacked. Um, and I haven't properly worked since. I've had a couple of uh, consultancy jobs. Uh, but I've been fighting for... There's hundreds of thousands of people affected, about a billion pounds, and I've been fighting for people to get money back. But in the process, with no income... I mean, the worst time was last year. I was um, thrown off benefits by Atos. I had no money for four months. I was being repossessed by my mortgage company, Northern Rock, which was paid, bought out by the taxpayers, now government-owned. And the consequences for your health? Uh, I suffer depression. I um, find it very difficult to concentrate for lo long periods of time. Um, it's just destroyed me. But now, the, the, now it's, it's coming out, I'm a bit more relieved. <laughs> What about your colleagues' attitudes to you? Because they called you, did you, I think it was your boss, called yeah. you Mr Ethical. On Twitter, I'm Mr Ethical. My boss, Andrew Cox, when I was complaining about the fact that they shouldn't be doing these things, oh, here comes Mr Ethical. The partners refused to discuss it with me. What about your colleagues at the same grade? They didn't know. My, the, work, the colleagues, I had a team, I was the head of a team of about four people. I never told them because of morale and... We, I, was at the, I was at the meeting with the bank. I told the bank 12 years ago what they were doing was illegal. And since that day, I, I, once we got the work in, I was telling the partners, we've got to change this contract, it's illegal. Uh, they weren't prepared to discuss it. They took all the work away from me to their head office in Liverpool. They sacked my team in London. And they said to me, you've got to find more cl other clients to justify your salary. So your message... If it in the financial sector, of course, there are different, uh, different judgments apply for uh, in different areas. Let, but let me just ask you about the financial sector. If somebody wants to blow the whistle on, in the same way that you did, what is your advice to them? Mo leave it, get another job, leave it and get on with your life. Because it's too corrupt. Well, listen, thank you for that testimony. <laughs>